After the Rio Games, a powerhouse gymnastics coaching couple, the Corollis, Bella and Marta, that they said that they were retiring. And there was talks of the USOC buying the ranch. But that's no longer going to happen. One of the reasons being the money issue. They're still going to lease the agreement to host Team USA in the gym until they can find alternative locations. Another possible reason why in the time between prospects of purchasing and the closing of that deal, there had been a sex abuse scandal going on. Over 100 women, including three elite gymnasts, have accused Larry Nasser, a former doctor, have accused Nasser of touching them inappropriately for years under the guise of treatment while working at Michigan State and the USA Gymnastics. He is currently defending himself against four separate cases. One case by a Michigan judge could lock him up with enough evidence that he sexually assaulted seven gymnasts both at a campus clinic and at a home basement. He has pleaded not guilty. And because of this, now a bill was passed with a 415 to 3 vote stating that amateur sports groups that are recognized by the USOC should report sexual abuse cases to the police. The bill also relaxes the statute of limitations for those seeking civil damages. Victims alleging they were abused will have up to 10 years. They have to establish that harm did occur. The court will presume damages of $150,000. A bill sponsored by, by Dion Feinstein also was cleared to the Senate panel. This one will make it safe and easy for victims to report abuse. Organizations like the U.S. Gymnastics will have to ensure that their coaching and staff have been trained in sexual abuse prevention. This comes out of outrage that the gymnastics community clearly failed in protecting its own athletes. 